So it's my pleasure to go over the um, OCV Work Group 2022 activities with you. Um, and so I went and looked at the work plan and pulled off the activities that we had um, listed for ourselves. And they came under four main themes, guidance, operations, data sharing, and research, the latter of which will be covered in the next session. Um, we, and the ones I've highlighted in bold are the ones that we have updates on. Um, so we have two guidance, um, four operational activities, and then three data sharing activities. Um, and what I'll, how will, this session will work is I'll call on the different leads for each of these activities to provide a quick update. Um, so for the um, first one, the selection of identified hotspots for OCV use, um, I'm gonna give you a brief update from um, a summary of slides that we had on this activity. So for these guidelines, um, the directive was to develop criteria that could be used to select cholera hotspots for OCB preventative campaigns and inform prioritization of these hotspots within the multi-year plan of action. And what we did was um, we held a series of meetings with um, a subgroup from the main working group. And this focused on brainstorming and identifying the purpose of the OCB multi-year plans key considerations for inclusion in the guidance and key considerations on flexibility. We obtained country perspectives on how they prioritize cholera hotspots for OCV and conducted a deep dive into the identified selection criteria and discussed thresholds and additional guidance for countries um, and then obtained feedback from the broader working group on the proposed criteria. For the Criteria, we were able to sort them into four main categories. And this um, working from the top left was um, susceptibility of the population, such as whether they'd have previous OCV campaigns or recent cholera reported. Moving right, transmission, uh, risk of transmission or spread of cholera, such as looking at population density, risk of importation, cross-border transmission. Moving down operational considerations, such as accessibility, seasonality, security, and then lastly, vulnerability of the population, um, whether they're high risk or unusual weather patterns, et cetera. And um, from this, we were able to pull together an initial list of uh, mandatory and optional criteria. And um, what we'll be doing is um, reviewing how we're combining this tool with the hotspot identification tool because there was some overlap we discovered. And so we wanna make sure we're making it as streamlined and as simplified as possible for the countries. And then um, plan to pilot in several countries as to help support them work towards their NYP development. 